Hey YouTube, it's me Corey. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I decided that I want to do something a little bit different. I never really come on here and show you guys like a hair care routine. I want to say last summer in 2023, maybe around like May or June, I decided to really take my hair care very serious. I don't know, I'm putting myself to the test. I want to see can I have manageable, healthy, blonde hair. The first like two months, maybe three, but definitely the first two months of my hair journey, it was a struggle. I literally hated my hair. I have to show you guys a picture. Like when I first did my wash and go, my very first wash and go, it was a hot mess. However, because I stay consistent and patient, I have come across a few products and a few brands that I really, really like. And today I really want to show you guys Pattern Beauty. No, the video is not sponsored. No, Pattern Beauty. I am not on their PR list. But if Tracy, if she see this video, call me. Okay. My my DMs are open. If you guys do end up really liking the hair content, let me know if you want like more hair routine. But enough talking. Let's just get started with the tutorial. I'm starting off with the Way Detox Shampoo. I love this shampoo. It cleans my hair very well, gives me a nice deep cleanse, but it doesn't leave my hair feeling dry or brittle. And best of all, there's no breakage or tangles. Next, I'm going in with a hydration shampoo from Pattern. If I were to recommend anything from Pattern Beauty, it would be this hydration shampoo, okay? The ingredients are top notch. It gives me a really good cleanse and it doesn't weigh my hair down like other moisturizing shampoo. Some moisturizing shampoos are a little too heavy in moisture and it causes my hair to feel a little bit dirty, but not this one. Next is the transition hair mask. It has castor oil and honey in it, which is like my top two favorite ingredients. It gives me really good curl definition and detangling is so easy with this product. Literally the shedded hair just slips out with so much ease. I like to use a wide tube comb to detangle my hair because it prevents any unnecessary breakage or hair pulling and I let the hair mask sit in for about 10 to 15 minutes. Next is the intensive conditioner. This is recommended for low porosity hair. I have high porosity hair. I noticed that the slip is okay at first, but once I add more water to the conditioner, I get better slip and it's a little bit easier to detangle. It is very moisturizing. I do prefer this one over the heavy conditioner. The heavy conditioner actually left my hair a little dry. And of course, I'm going back at my wide tube comb to detangle my hair because less breakage and less shedding for me. And this is what my hair looks like. It doesn't give me as much definition as a transition mask but the moisture is definitely there and I let it sit in my hair for about 10 minutes okay guys I just rinsed out the conditioner I'm not gonna lie the AC was on the entire time I was in the shower and to make sure the shower water don't fog up the camera I couldn't have the shower water as hot as I liked it to be and I took like maybe a 20 minute break just to warm myself back up and also have a little snacky snack here and there because I was getting hungry. I'm going to be using the leave-in conditioner and I'm going to pair it with the curl foaming mousse. I really, really want to try their curl gel. I hear people rave about that gel all the time. For my spray bottle is the pattern one. I actually really do like this one. It got so much hair on it from the last time I used it. By the way, I don't um, dry my hair off at all once I step out the shower. As you all saw, I like to keep my hair in a cloth clip. When I do it that way, it holds as much water as I need it to hold so my hair doesn't dry out over time. And plus, I don't know, my hair actually benefits from being air dry. Like I know there's a whole trend of how air drying is detrimental or damaging to your hair. Um, to each their own, but my hair thrives when it's air dry. And now I'm going over to leave-in conditioner. I'm so happy my jaw gave me the full size because it's so easy to just use a pump. But I'm gonna start off with this much first. And of course, it has that signature pattern smell to it. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Tangle Teaser. So far, it's looking really, really good. So now I'm gonna go in with the curl mousse. Normally for each section, I do like two, two pumps. I feel like two pumps is enough for me. Looking pretty good so 
far i'm gonna do some shingling here and there i figure i would give you guys some like fat story about my hair so i've been bleaching my hair since 2018 and honestly my hair actually did very well with the bleach i think the only damaging thing that i got from the bleach was like two to three inches of split ends which i got cut off 2019 came and that was just like a really bad year for me i was coming up on my associate degree but i just didn't really know what i wanted from college or like what career i wanted to pursue since i'm the only person in my family who's been to college they couldn't really give me advice on how to navigate college and what to do and how to utilize my degree my family weren't really supportive of my degree or like my career path my family they were just like very critical of everything i did in college i just had no support i just felt very much so alone and i just stopped taking care of myself overall and that also included me stop taking care of my hair i stopped doing my hair because i just had so much going on and my hair was the last thing that I was focusing on. And then over time, my hair just kept getting worse and worse. And then I started to wear wigs and it got to the point where I started to develop hair dysmorphia. And it even got to the point where I did not feel pretty without a wig. Like dead ass, I will always remember how it was a day where my friend, she just wanted to go to this random local coffee shop super super chill vibes nothing's going on she invited me to come out with her and i was like oh yeah let me just get ready i literally in the next hour i put like four giant cornrows in my head just to lay down this funky wig because i just did not feel pretty enough in my natural hair to go to a freaking coffee shop i didn't know how to take care of my hair anymore there's been so many times where it was like i want to wear my real hair but i can't because it's damaged i want to say by the end of 2022 i was like you know what enough is enough so when the beginning of 2023 came that's when i started to wear wigs a little bit less i'm gonna go back to my favorite natural hairstyles try them back out again one of the hairstyles i tried was a bantu knot that bantu to not was atrocious okay because my hair was so damaged and so dehydrated and dry because i wasn't doing a frequent routine my bantu knots did not turn out how i had anticipated not only did it have me looking a little bit like shirley temple halfway into my day my hair was so frizzy but there was also like this small period of time where i was like what if i try and be a heat train natural and i feel like at some point it was working but then summer came and i was like man i want to go to the pool i want to go to the beach like i want to get my hair wet i want to soak in the sun and that's when i realized like man maybe straight hair is a little too high maintenance for me i stopped being a heat train natural i did a protective style, I ended up going blonde. It took me a minute to find like a solid hair routine. Doing my hair routine constantly and just sticking with wash and goes and trying to find what worked for me. Over time, I ended up falling in love with my hair and I have noticed like huge, huge progress. I did get one pushback so far when I did my knotless mermaid braids. I messed up on those braids completely. They were too heavy. They were pulling my hair down. I also made them too freaking tight. I actually suffered from severe breakage. I got like a really short piece somewhere around here and it's been coming along it's been getting her link back so it's okay she won't be short forever okay guys i'm about to go off camera and finish the rest of my hair but i do want to show you what it's looking like but so far it's looking really really good i don't have too much frizz going on i'm getting really really excited but i'm going to do the rest off camera um it doesn't normally take me this long to style my hair but it is taking me a little bit longer because i'm doing a youtube video okay guys this is what my hair is looking like right now it's still pretty damp i don't have much frizz going on and i definitely have a good bit of definition now i'm just going to take my blow dry by curl smith to define use my hair i like to start off on my heat on low and then i turn the wind speed out to medium 
So I don't do anything special when it comes to diffusing my hair, nor do I spend too much time on it. Since my hair is high in porosity, it does dry out pretty fast. So therefore I only diffuse my hair up to 10 minutes. Then after that, I let the rest just air dry. And sometimes I'm just like flipping my head over to make sure I get the back of my hair, but that's pretty much it when it comes to diffusing. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop right there and just let the rest air dry. I noticed a little bit, just a little bit of frizziness right here. You can kind of see. I'll show you guys the back of my head. So I will just let it air dry for the rest of the day and then come back and show you guys when it's completely dry. Okay, YouTube, it's the end of day one. I just got back from work like 20 minutes ago and this is what the hair is looking like. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Unfortunately, this is probably not my best wash and go combo. I should have recorded, but I was like running so behind from work and I wasn't expecting my hair to be that frizzy. But literally when I woke up the next day, my hair was just poof. I'll show you guys the back really quick. I think it's more so the leave-in conditioner rather than the mousse. But I have tried this quite a few times already. And it is a really good mousse. It is a really good mousse. And it pairs really well with my other leave-ins and stylers. So I figure, you know, it'll go really well with a leave-in conditioner that's a part of the same collection. I just I just don't think this leave-in conditioner is for my hair personally. Put my hair up in a bun. It, I already know for a fact when I wake up tomorrow morning to get ready for work, my hair is going to be even more frizzy. Overall though, everything else I got from Pattern Beauty, I really, really love and I still highly recommend. I highly recommend the hydrating shampoo you guys let me know if you try anything from pattern beauty if there's anything you would recommend for me to try from pattern beauty or just any natural hair care line because i do want to get into a little bit more brands that i haven't really tried before or whatnot if you made it to this far into my video you better be subscribing i mean you better be subscribing follow me on my tiktok and i hope to see you in my next video bye